All right, my beautiful friends, here we are. It is Wednesday, June 19th, 2019. And you know, I was looking all over this morning for some little puffs of loveliness. They just left me today, and I'm a little disturbed by that. Um, I don't think they're too happy, so they're like hiding. Anyway, let, let's talk about what's happening here because it's pretty profound. Right now, stocks are doing nothing. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is slightly in the positive. The rest of the major indices are negative. But again, you should not be looking there. The tell or the story right now is happening in the bond market. Bonds are selling off right now. If you want to see what this looks like, go to my website, traderschoice.net. There is a link in the description of this video. Right side of the page is the bond market chart. You'll see bonds are selling off. If bonds are selling off, that means yields are going higher. I mean, nothing dramatic here, but this is a tell to me that the Fed will not, will not be cutting rates today. So, again, they can do whatever they want to. And, you know, again, I'm going up against Jim Grant, brilliant man. He says they are going to cut rates today, but the bond market is telling a different story. Bond market says no as of right now. Let's see what comes out of its mouth because it will speak today. You know who it is. It is always the Fed chair uh, or, or the Fed collectively. Now, let me let me outline this for you right now. Jay Powell right now is, is standing in front of a mirror in his baggy, saggy underwear practicing what he's going to say later on today because we're going to hear from him. And of course, the questions, at least most of the questions, are absolutely scripted. I hope someone throws him a curveball and asks him a real question. Of course, you know, they'll never have a guy like me or you that can ask him a question because, you know, it can't happen. Watch Powell today. Every time he is asked a question, he's going to look down. This is because he has to review the answer. Again, most of these questions are scripted. They're, they're hand-picked. So pay attention to this. If they even show it, a lot of times when a question is asked, they won't go directly to the Fed chair because he has to look down first. They don't want to let people see that. But try to pay attention to it. He's going to be asked a question. Instead of looking directly at the person and answering it, he's going to look down to see what the script says. I find that very disturbing, and I watch for it every single time. And you are going to see it today if they allow you to. Anyway, so the story is all about the Fed today and this, crude oil. Crude oil remains right now in the danger zone. Crude is down about 1% as I am doing this video blog, about $53 a barrel. This will not stand. Mark my words from right now, something is going to happen. A bombing, a, a refinery fire, another tanker will be attacked. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but they will not allow crude oil to hover where it is now. So start to be vigilant. Pay attention to stories that are getting floated out there, troop movements, attacks, like I just said. They are going to prop up crude. Now, let's, let's set a little more groundwork here. Um, if Powell gets it wrong, in other words, let's say, hypothetically, there is no cut today, and he doesn't word this exactly right, stocks might drop, but, but this will not be allowed to stand either. Again, they'll prop up crude oil to prop up energy, to prop up financial stocks, hence the entire market will be lifted. Understand, this is a game. It's a game. It's a puzzle in many ways. Um, they move pieces around to get the desired effect. You understand? Watch for these things. Watch very closely. All right, with that said, I'm going to let you all go. Um, check out that bond market chart. You don't have to be a chartist to see what I'm talking about. Again, there's a link in the description of this video, right side of the page. Go down a little bit, bond market chart. You'll see a nice sell-off there. That, to me, again, is the bond market saying... No cut today, Greg. No cut today. Um, again, and I don't believe we're getting a cut today. I think they're going to set the groundwork or at least try to for the next Fed meeting. And then you're going to get good cop, bad cop. 
It's already being set up. Did you hear President Trump yesterday? We're going to see what Powell does. Powell has been supporting this entire market for a very long time, um, propping everything up. The Fed is still buying everything in sight, keeping rates suppressed, robbing the middle class blind. Um, it's unbelievable. Forcing the middle class to subsidize the stock market. The president knows this, but he has to play good cop. Good cop, bad cop. We're going to hear more of this part of the setup. Again, if I'm, if I'm right here and the Fed does not cut rates, you're going to hear a lot more good cop, bad cop for the rate cut to come probably next month. We'll talk about it at that time. And again, if I am wrong here and the Fed does cut rates and Jim Grant is right, I am going to wear a lovely bow tie later <laughs> in Jim's honor. All right, with that said, this guy does love you a lot. I'll see you later. You know what to look for.